So, who's next to chill us with a scary story, huh? You want to hear a scary story? I'll tell you a scary story. Here's the old bar, huh? Can't wait for Gary to see this. He's going to really freak out. <laughs> I'm so scared he passed out. Come on, Gary, get up. I don't think he can, Sam. I don't feel a pulse. Oh, come on. You got to be kidding. No, Sam. Gary's dead. Local legend has it that they're going to rise from the grave and seek revenge. What's the matter, Sam? You look like you've seen a ghost. But he's got a message from beyond the grave, and he's not going to rest until he tells me what it is. And now it's come back to haunt you. What's wrong? You know, you've been acting strange all day. I've been acting fine. Will you please tell me what's going on? I mean, you're coming unglued here. Thanks, anyway. I'm, I'm sure I'll be fine. After that nightmare, maybe now I can sleep through the night without being haunted by that homicidal cherub. Yeah, what, what's wrong with her, you know? Don't ever make fun of a woman when she says she has a feeling about something. Please. Well, now Carla may have a point there. Stupidest thing I've ever heard. Excuse me, while I was blinking, did we all just suddenly time travel back to the age of the druid? Well, we all know how superstitious Carla is. You've all overlooked one important thing. The man is dead, people! Sammy, you're tampering with the psychic world here, and you're gonna be sorry. Kind of this psychic business, it's just a crutch to avoid reality. I want to make an appointment to speak with the dead. What's wrong with me? It's like being in a haunted house, isn't it? You saw it. You just choose not to believe. That would scare even the most hardiest soul. You will see the spirits of the dead are all around you. And you see them lingering in the shadows of this very bar. Seance is over. He's over there! He's over there! He's over there! The spirits have left us. May they rest in peace.